Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up peer-to-peer -peer replication in SQL Server 2016. But before we can start our setup, let's discuss what we need to do in order for our peer-to-peer -peer replication setup to be successful. Number one, we need to identify the database or the databases that we want to replicate. Why is that? Why is that important? Num that is number two, because all those databases or the database that you want to replicate needs to be synchronized across all the nodes that's taking part in this setup. Easy way to do that is first you identify which server is going to be your publisher, means where you're going to create your publication for peer-to-peer -peer replication setup. Take the database or the databases taking part into your setup and uh, take the backup of that, restore it all on all remaining nodes. That's what I did. This way you will make sure that all, that database or those databases are synchronized across all the nodes that's taken part in this setup. So let's say that you have taken the backup and you know that on your publisher side, there are certain changes happened after you took the backup and synchronized across all the nodes. Now you want to take those changes um, also uh, with your setup. What you need to do instead of taking the backup and restoring it again, you need to take the backup and save that file for your setup. This way you'll make sure that all the changes that happened after your first backup will also be replicated once our setup is complete. Uh, number four, all nodes are distributor, uh, distributor or separate distributor. So you have a choice to use one distributor in this setup or you have a choice to use each SQL Server instance or node to be its own distributor. My recommendation is that you should use each uh, SQL Server instance or um, node to be its own distributor. The reason is that if you use one distributor and that distributor goes down, uh, your replication will fail. Your replication will be down. And if you use each SQL Server instance of its own or node, its own distributor, then if that particular node goes down, only that node will be affected. Uh, rest of the nodes will keep replicating um, using peer-to-peer -peer replication. So you don't want to create a single point of failure with one distributor, single distributor. If that goes down, then your entire uh, replication is down. So let's go and take a look on my setup. As I said that uh, there are three nodes are going to take part in this setup, in this demo. SQL Prod 1 is going to be my first time publisher. This is where I'm going to create the pu publication for peer-to-peer -peer replication. SQL Prod 2 is going to be another node and TBS Prod is going to be another node. So identify the databases first. If I expand my databases, this is the database I would like to use in this setup of replication. Um, peer to peer replication. So what I did, I took the backup of this database and restored it on my remaining nodes. In my case, it's SQL Prod 2 and TBS Prod. So I know that this database is synchronized across all the nodes. And I do know that the changes doesn't hap didn't happen um, after I took the backup. But if it would have happened, I would have taken another backup and saved that file and I'll show you in a second that where you need to provide that BAK file so your remaining changes after your first backup will also replicate across all the nodes. So let's set up. In order to set up peer-to-peer -peer replication, you need to expand replication and create peer-to-peer -peer publication first. So right click on publication, click new publication, click next and select your database or databases that you would like to replicate. In my case, it's peer-to-peer -peer demo. Click next and click on peer-to-peer -peer publication and click next. Select the tables. For this demo, I only have one table. It is also called article in um, replication term. So I'm gonna select that table and click next. And I will set up my log reader agent security. Click on security settings. I would recommend to have a separate account for replication that needs to have certain rights uh, in order for our replication to be successful. So it is good idea to have use separate um, account for your um, replication instead of using SQL Server agent services because SQL Server agent uh, services 
a service account might be different on uh, different nodes. So you don't want to run into permission issue. In my case, I do have that uh, account. Click OK. Click Next. And click on Create Publication. In this demo, I'm just going to uh, create the publication right away. You have, an, you have a choice to generate a script for your backup, or you can use this script later on to uh, create your publication. Click Next and name your publication. And click Finish. After our publication is created, we will use this publication and move it to or replicate it to all other nodes. Click close. And this is our publication. Right click on publication and click on configure peer to peer topology. Click next. This is the publication we just created. So that's fine. And this is our publisher. This is the first time publisher. Click next. And as you can see that this publisher is already added in the topology. So there one thing that needs to be noted right here uh, that is called um, here originator ID. In this case, it's 100. That's by default. It picks that. You cannot use this ID with any other node that you're going to add in this uh, topology. So make sure that that ID is different. Usually, if you keep adding, SQL Server will change that ID based on what you have already added. But uh, if you wanted to manually give it like this is 100 and there are two other nodes I have to add, I would I would do that 101 or 102. So I'm going to click on gray area and click on add a new here node. And in my case, I can go either with the TBS prod or uh, SQL, uh, SQL prod 2. I'm going to select SQL prod 2 and click connect. All right, we got an error that uh, server instance SQL prod 2 cannot be here, cannot be up here because it does not have a distributor configured. So again, I'm using each node as its own distributor. That's okay. Let's click OK and go to SQL prod 2 or the server in your case if it's not configured all right. So I'm going to click on replication and click on configure distribution. What it does is create the distribution database on that particular server. Click next and I will select SQL prod 2 will act as its own distributor. Click next and this is the uh, I was saying when security during the security setup, these are the folders that uh, that account needs to have read and write permission. Click next and click next. And I will click on finish. All I want is this SQL part to be its own distributor. And click close. Let's go back to our setup and right click again and click on add a new peer node and click connect and now we're successfully to the next screen now we need to select the database as you, as i said that this peer to peer demo is already synchronized so i'm going to click on peer to peer demo and click on connect to all display nodes this will automatically connect you have a choice to use push subscription that means it will be uploading um, your changes. And if you use pull subscription, that means it's downloading the changes. I'm going to keep it push replication. So ID up here, as you noted earlier, that um, this was 100 and this is 1. But I'm going to make it 101. Click OK. So it's already connected. Let's add another peer. In my case, it's going to be three nodes. So click on Add a new peer and select your remaining node.
and I'm going to select the database peer to peer demo in this case and I'm going to give the originator ID 102. I know my publisher had 100 and the other node had 101 and this is 102. I'm going to click on connect to all display nodes and use pu uh, push rep uh, subscription. Click OK. And now your topology is all set. You can move this way. That way you would know that they all are connected to each other. If this goes down, they, uh, these two servers will still replicate the data. Click Next. And now the security for log reader agent in this topology. I'm going to use the same account. Again, I'll recommend to use a separate uh, replication account and add that account to all your nodes. Click OK. If you're using the same account for all your agent that is all your nodes that's added in this list you can click on use the first peer security setting for all other peers but if you have a separate account you need to provide the separate account right here click I'm gonna click on use the first peer security that way if you if there are uh, 10 uh, nodes right here you don't have to uh, add every one of them one by one click next and this is distribution agent security and again, I'm gonna use the same account. Provide the password. And click OK. And I'm going to select use the first peer security settings for all other peers. And click next. Here, here are the options that I was talking about. The first option is I created the peer database manually or I restored a backup of original publication database which has not been changed since the backup. And the second is that if you see that there are some changes happened after your first backup, uh, you need to click on this option right here and provide the BAK file. If this will make sure that uh, the remaining changes after your first backup restore, uh, those changes will be replicated after this setup is complete. So you need to provide that uh, BAK file. This is what I was talking about that you take uh, another backup and save that for the setup. So one, if you have done that, you can provide your BAK file right here and it'll take that those changes and replicate to your remaining peers as well. So I'm gonna select that because I know that there, there aren't any changes happened after the backup I took and synchronized all across the nodes. Click next and click finish. This will take some time, uh, about four to five minutes for me. My machines are not all that powerful, so it's going to take a little bit time for me. All right, building the peer-to-peer -to -peer topology is completed. Let's close this, and now it's time for us to test whether the replication is working or not. Let's expand that uh, replication on each. As you can see that um, there are two su subscribers right here, People Prod one and TBS Prod 2 because this is um, the TBS Prod 2 right here. So if you notice right here, the setup is successful. So it's time to do, uh, do a test on our data movement. So I'm going to make changes. Let's first take a look at what we have in our tables on all three nodes. This is my table that I used during this setup. So I'm going to select. Right now, it doesn't have any record. 
we'll add the record let's take a look on the other nodes for the day just to be sure that everything is synchronized All right, no record. So let's add a record and see if it flows to all the nodes. And give ID one, first name, Raza, last name, M, and save this. And select again. So we have one record. Now let's go and select the table on other nodes and see if it has gone to the other nodes. So this is SQL Prod 2. Let's execute. As you can see that uh, the data is there. Let's take a look on PBS Prod and select that. And as you can see, the data, uh, the record has gone from SQL prod 1 to all other nodes. Let's make a change on PBS prod and see if it goes back to the other nodes real quick. I'm going to add the ID 2 and select Amir and last name is S and save that okay and let's select pbs prod so we'll select that if there are two records now in this table let's take a look on prod equal prod 2 and execute that there are two records here and sql prod 1 and execute and there are two records now we know that uh, replication is working any uh, record that we added in that particular table that we added in this setup, um, the data is flowing fine. Now, a few tips I would like to mention that if you want to make any schema changes, it is recommended that the schema changes should initiate from your first publisher right here. Uh, you can set up that uh, the schema changes will take place uh, on any subscriber as well because this is peer-to-peer -peer replication but still it is recommended that uh, original publisher you won't see any conflict but there might be that one person is updating that particular row and other person is trying to delete that then you will run into conflict so you don't want to run into that situation make sure that uh, you read about what the conflicts are in um, uh, peer-to-peer replication anyway that's that's about it and i hope this video helps